Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the fabulous Mrs. Claus but in drag in memory of my brother. To see how we created this fabulous look, make sure you stay tuned. First we're going to go right in with Ardell's brow pomade in dark brown to really create the dramatic drag brows. Going really high arched and really fanning them out. Um, I don't have brows, so I don't have to worry about gluing anything down, um, but if you do have brows, make sure you glue them down. Um, look up a t YouTube tutorial on this and how to do it properly so you don't have any stray hairs or anything poking out. This is quite a task to learn how to do, so make sure you look up a tutorial to help you do it. So here all I did was create the lines where I wanted the brows to do. I filled them in and I did a few little more sparse like hairs in the front to make it more like a realistic brow and then here we are going in with Tarte's shape tape and carving them out to make them more like a realistic brow they were pretty sloppy beforehand but going with concealer and shaping them up and cleaning them up really lets the brow come to life So here we are, both brows are done and they're both pretty symmetrical. So now we're going to go in and start with the eyeballs. We're going to use the Alicia Inner Artist palette from James Charles and Morphe. Now filming didn't show the entire eye that we did but for the cut crease we used T first and then we went in with Benny and then we just blended it out with one of my Luxie mini eye brushes to give it a nice flawless finish. Now we're going in with the Tarte Shape Tape. We're gonna cut that crease completely, um, clean it up, and then we're going to set it with a few different shades. First I'm going in and setting the corner with Flashback. The second color that we're going to be using is ring light. And then the third and fourth color we're going to be using on that last corner is literally and you are kidding. And it's going to be a nice rounded shape so after you can go in with some concealer and clean up that back corner if you need to. I always pat the color on to keep the intensity and then blend after. Shimmer shades help to keep it easily blended. Um, mattes are a little bit harder to blend because they're not as soft, but I went down and put literally to help with the blending process and give that um, your kidding a little bit more oomph, but then I'm patting your kidding in just to give it a little more pizzazz and boldness. And there she is all set and blended, nice and seamless. Looks real good and clean. Next we're gonna prime our face. I'm going in with CoverGirl's True Blend Matte Made Foundation and we're using the Luxie 530 Flat Top Kabuki Brush to apply that foundation all over your face. Applies it really well and the CoverGirl True Blend matte made foundation is absolutely amazing you can just see all my flaws and everything disappear evens out the skin really well and it really is transfer proof like it says i promise i love this stuff here we are going with tarts shape tape and a a um, little con concealer blending brush from Real Techniques. It's like a concealer or these are from their color correcting set so you know which color goes to what because they're color coded um, brushes. But these work great when you're going through and doing your concealers all over the face or if you do color corrector and stuff like that. I love these brushes to blend out. I need the Tarte Shape Tape. I do it in all my little detailed areas but if I'm doing a like full face I will pull out my foundation brush just to make it a little bit quicker on the face because it's such a big area.
Dollar Steel with Airspun Setting Powder. I have to say, I think this was the last look I could use it on. I like to go in with a small um, beauty sponge just to set my delicate areas. Make sure the powder is really on there and pressed. It really helps with any fine lines um, increasing. And then I use a big fluffy brush and just apply it all over my face. And to make sure that we've applied enough, I will gently go through and tap my face as I go to make sure it's not sticky at all anywhere. If you use a pomade, sometimes I'll go through and put a little powder over my brushes just to make sure they're even more set so they aren't moving and going anywhere throughout the day. Mine generally don't, but you never know. Next we're going with Makeup Revolution's Pro HD Contour Kit. We're going to warm up that face, but of course we're making this a hard contour because we're doing Drag Mrs. Claus. So I just used a gift card that I've used up. We used two shades to make that nice gradient effect. And I really made sure I packed it on and then blended it up really well with that brush. And it really did a great job. Um, for what we were going for. I was just making sure they were matching up as we went and the lines were all lined up as well because I don't bake. They came out really good though. So excited. Next we're going in with Juvia's blush palette number two. I'm going to use a little bit of blush right on those cheeky bones. Make it nice and bold because we're glamorous today. Extra, extra glamorous. Next we're going with Morphe's Babe in Paradise palette. We're going with the lightest shade. I'm going to put it right on our cheekbones and anywhere else that we want to glam it up all over our face. Here I am just going back in with T and Benny just for that lower lash line. I want to make it a bigger dramatic eye so we opened up around the tear duct and we're just going to fan out that bottom line a little bit. We didn't really pack on too much color. I did a little bit and then we just fanned it out with blending and a little bit at the end of the brush but we didn't put a ton of color on with it. Um, I knew the eyes were going to be pretty detailed so I didn't want to go too crazy with the colors. Keep it some traditional stuff but make sure we added some flair. And going back in with all my mini Luxie brushes, we're just gonna blend it, but fan it back out even more with that little blending brush. So it's nice and tapered. Next we're going in with Morphe's lid toppers. It's a metallic, metallic one and we're going in with flare we're going to use a small detailed brush from royal and lane nickel just to create more of a liner effect around the eyeshadow that we have created on the eye just to kind of give it a more of a finish and final look um, i think it just get, cleans up the line a little bit next we're going with nyx glitter glue and we're going in with glitters from glitter addict we're using soul and then we use a gold chunky look just to kind of um clean up the end of the glitter and everything like that but we wanted to make sure that drag mrs claus had some glitter because she needs that glitter and it really did pull off the look a little bit more which is exactly what we wanted if you guys ever shop glitter addict make sure you use my codes but personality to save some money on any of your purchases with her i just had to go in with wet wilds liquid liner to add half a wing to the eye one i hate putting liquid liner on top of any glitter it just gets really messy really sloppy really chunky really uneven so i decided let's do half a wing here that way the eye doesn't seem really overdone next we're going to put on huda beauty's demi matte and boy collector to finish off this look i have to say she was everything for this look as well
So here's the final look for our drag Mrs. Claus. Um, this is a pretty tough look for me to do as my brother has passed this in the last few months. Um, and this was something that we talked about doing last Christmas and we never got to do. So I'm making sure that we fulfill these dreams of his and making them come to life. Um, this was such a fun look to do, but also very emotional for me. Um, I do still have one more look to do for him. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to see what other look we're going to do. And make sure you don't miss any videos of our 12 days of Christmas. Thanks so much for hanging, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!